So I'm sharing on keys, seven keys to manifesting the blessings of God. Seven keys to manifesting the blessings of God. I feel the Lord instructing me to just talk to his children concerning his blessings and to give his children a certain kind of hope and a certain kind of um, confidence in the fact that he's, he's there and he's with them in these times. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. And to, for his children to key in into what he has done and what he has given to them. Okay. So this evening, in the next maybe 45 minutes, I just want to share with you on these seven things that um, seven keys to manifesting the blessings of God. There could be more, but I just crystallized them into seven. You know, if you read in Ephesians chapter 1, verse 3, the Bible says that, Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. So, as a child of God in Christ, you are blessed. Say, I'm blessed. I'm blessed. Say it like you mean it. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. So, they are blessed people and then they are cursed people. Yes, they are blessed people and they are cursed people in the world. So you can be a blessed person or you can be a cursed person. But in Christ, when you come into Christ, you are blessed. Do you see? The blessings of the Lord that maketh rich and add no soul is resting in your life, is dwelling upon your life. See, I'm blessed. I'm blessed. So we are the blessed of God. Okay? We are the blessed of God. If you read in Galatians, um, chapter 3, verse 13. Look at Galatians 3, 13. It says, Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law. So in Christ, you are redeemed from the curse of the law and from every kind of curse. There are curses in this world. That's the truth. There are curses. There's a curse of the ground. Yes, there's a curse of the ground. And when God cursed the ground for Adam's sake, the Bible says that the ground bore thorns and thistles. And the Lord you know, carry the crown of thorns on the cross of Calvary to let us know that as children of God, he has carried the thorns. He has carried the curse of the earth. The curse of the earth is upon his head. He carried it, of, he carried it for us. And the curse of the law is also upon him. The Bible says, curse is every man. It says, be made a curse for us. For it is written, curse is everyone that hangeth on a tree. So he took the curse so that he can give you blessings. Next verse. So that the blessing of Abraham, the blessing of Abraham, Jesus took the curse so that the blessing of Abraham, Abraham was the blessed of God in the earth. He was the blessed of God in the earth. God showed forth in his life, okay, in Genesis chapter 11. Look at Genesis chapter 12, verse 1. God showed up in his life and said to him, says, Now the Lord had said unto Abraham, Get thee out of thy country and from thy kindred and from thy father's house unto a land that I will show thee. And I will make of thee a great nation. I mean, God is talking to this man and he's telling him, out of all the human beings in the world, God chose this man and said, I will bless you. I will make of thee a great nation. And I will bless you. And I will make your name great. I will bless you and make your name great. There's something called blessings. Okay? Blessings. Words communicated upon your life, okay, that makes you unique, makes you different, makes you stand out, it marks you out. You are not, you are not like every other person. Do you see? Yeah. You are favored in a certain way. You are helped in a certain way. You are blessed in a certain way. I mean, it's, 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 it's mind-boggling. It's just the Lord who does it. What happens in the world does not happen to you. You are exempted. See, I'm exempted. I'm exempted. So when the Lord says that he's blessed you with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places, he's trying to let you know that he has separated you from the masses. He took the curse so that you can be blessed. Say, I am blessed. I am blessed. And I will make of thee a great nation, and I will bless you. I will bless you and make your name great, and you shall be a blessing. I will bless you and make you a blessing. In other words, anyone who comes into contact with you is also blessed. Anyone who wants to, you know, Jacob said to, Jacob said to Laban, he said, you know how your flocks were when I came. They were but a few. But when I came, they have become, behold, they have become a multitude. 
Then Laban said, I have learned by experience that the Lord has blessed me for your sake, because of you, for your sake. The Lord has blessed me. This is in um, Genesis chapter, chapter 30, verse 27. Look at the Genesis chapter 30, verse 27. So there's something like the blessing of the Lord. That maketh rich. That added no sorrow to you. Do you see? That makes your life different. And I want to share with you to help you believe the fact that this thing is true. And that you, you have it. This is there. You are marked out. You see, so you, you, it has to show forth in your life. So I want to share with you some keys that will help you to, for you to show forth in your life. Do you understand what I'm saying? Is it a good thing or is it a good thing? That is for tonight. The next week weekend, there's another one that is coming as well. What a blessing. And Laban said unto him, I pray thee, if I have found favor in thy side, thine eyes, tarry, for I have learned by experience that the Lord has blessed me for thy sake. Look at the next verse, verse 28. And he said, appoint me thy wages and I will give it. Next verse. And he said unto him, thou knowest how I have served thee and how thy cattle was with me. For it was little which thou hast before I came. This is Jacob talking. He says, it was little before I came. It was small. You had cattle. Before and after. Before, and after. Before, before I came, your cattle was so small, it was your daughter Rachel who was doing, she was the headsman. Rich, can you imagine? A girl moving cows. As you know, there's just a few cows, a few sheep, a few, some, two, one, two. It wasn't much. If you go up, you will see, if you go back, you will see those things. Rachel was, that's how Jacob met Rachel. Jacob met Rachel at a certain well where they were watching sheep. And, and that, that was, that was, and Rachel was the one who was bringing the sheep. She was a shepherd. Receive grace to be a shepherd so that you will meet your Jacob by a well. Malagada by Abba. What a blessing it is to, to meet a shepherd. Hey. In the field. As you are shepherding here, he's shepherding here. Man. Receive a beloved who is a shepherd. Hallelujah. The Lord is blessing you with a beloved. It is part of the blessings of the Lord. A beloved who will take care of you. Receive it all. Receive it all. I said receive it all. One of the keys is receiving the, the, the utterances of a prophet. So as I'm talking to you now, I'm telling you that receive the blessing of a beloved who will take care of you and honor you and bless you and, and be with you forever. Receive it now. Yeah, sit down for two minutes. The world is a place functioning with blessings and curses. Blessings and curses. That, that is the truth. That is the truth. Some people don't believe that uh, blacks are descendants of ham, whatever. What, but you realize that, Charlie, there's a problem. We don't know where the problem is coming from, but you realize that ah, there's something wrong. There's something wrong. If you have trouble small, you realize that hmm, there's dust around here, but there's no dust over there. Hey, it's amazing. We all have trees. We all have grass. We all have cement. We all have everything. But their own is working. Their trees are working. Our trees doesn't seem to be working. Their roads are working. Our roads, you know, one of those is I was in a certain country and I was being driven around by a citizen of that country, you know, and as we were going, the car dipped into like a small, it just had a small dip. And he was so concerned for me. He said, oh, Bishop, I'm so sorry. Bishop, I'm so sorry. And I said, brother, do you know where I'm coming from? Do you know where I'm coming from? Tell him we enter my house and come out. Brother, it's nothing. Let's drive. He hit it against the wall, something. Hey! <laughs> he was, he was, he was, he was apologizing. His pastor, who is from this country, was sitting behind me and he started laughing. <laughs> We're all laughing. We said, you need to come to Ghana. You need to come to Ghana. So I gave him an invitation, come to Ghana. You will not say sorry when you, when I, when you fall into a portal. Hey! It's not easy. Oh. Brothers and sisters, curses are real and blessings are real. Yes. Whether you believe it or not. Yes. They said some things about Ham. A servant Cursed is Canaan. A servant of servants shall he be. 
<laughs> Just imagine the maid in your mother's house having a maid. That maid has a maid. Eh? Yes. That maid has a maid. That's in Genesis chapter chapter 9. Verse what? Verse 25. And he said, and Noah said, Cares be Canaan, a servant of servants, shall he be unto his brethren. So we are all human beings. We are all human beings, but you realize that mm, sometimes when I'm walking around in some of these places, some of these countries, I just wonder what they think about me. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's something that comes to my mind. I wonder, well, how, what do they think about me? No, because it's serious. We have everything. We have the gold. We have the nitrile resources. All the nitrile resources are here. We have the gold. We have the bauxite. We have the diamond. We have the oil. We have the trees. There are some trees that cannot be found anywhere. But Africa. The, the furniture that those trees are used to produce can be sold one, one chair can be sold for about $5,000. And those woods are found in this, our country that we are sitting in right now. And other people are taking them and going to make them abroad and coming to sell them to us. What is wrong with us? What is wrong with us? It's, it's, a, it's, it's a case. No, Charlie, let's be serious. You better know there's a case so that you can operate above it. You understand? You can operate above it. There's something hovering in, in, this, in this part of Africa, in this part of the world. Hmm. And Noah blessed the other two boys. Go to the place where he blessed them. He just spoke blessings. He spoke over their lives. And he said, this is verse 26, and he said, Blessed is the Lord God of Shem. And Canaan shall be his servants. It's a blessing to have servants. Yes, some people are cursed to be servants. Oh, yes. And some people are blessed to have those servants. Blessed be the Lord God of Shem, and Canaan shall be his servants. Go, go to the next verse. God shall enlarge Jephthah. It's sorry, Japheth, not Jephthah. It cannot be Jephthah. God shall enlarge Japheth, and he shall dwell in the tents of Shem, and Canaan shall be his servants. A servant everywhere. Whilst Japheth is being blessed, someone is being cursed. I tell you, I tell you. So you, you must understand that the world is a world of blessings and curses. Blessings and curses. That is why you must honor your father. Your father does not need to be born again to bless you. <laughs> your father does not need to be born again to bless you for it to work or to curse you for it to work. He has a natural authority. And now what? Natural authority over your life to speak blessings over you or to speak curses over you. So you have to be careful how you treat your father and how you treat your mother. You would think that blessings are not real. My last transaction with my father was blessings. Yes, my father called me his uncle. He said, you have taken care of me like my uncle did. So I bless you. Yes. You will keep going higher. Yeah, I mean, I'm just dealing in blessings. I don't know which one is working at what time. I was just a few minutes ago, my wife and I was kneeling before a great man of God. That's why we are late. A great man of God laid hands on us and blessed us. I don't know which one is working. I, I, I'm just dealing in blessings. You there be there and don't deal in blessings. <laughs> Many blessings. Deal out of blessings. Yes, blessings. Just lay hands. Be blessed. Be blessed. Be blessed. Hey, I'm blessed though. Hey! <laughs> yeah. Honor thy father and mother, which is the first commandment with promise. Next verse. That it may be well with you. It's a blessing to it's well with you. That and thou mayest live long on the earth. He didn't say they should be born again. Honor thy born again father or thy born again mother or thy. No, he says, honor your father and your mother. Yes. Even if he's in prison, and not him. Even if he has, he has had children with 70 women, 
and you are the 107th born. And he's not taking care of you. Honor him. It's respect. Anna is respect. Anna is basically respect. Yes, esteeming somebody, valuing somebody. You see, if he didn't do anything, at least he, he, has, he has brought you forth into this life. He could have set your mother, Charlie, I don't get to get out. it out. But he, he allowed for you to be born. He could have stomped your mother's stomach <laughs> for you to come up. So if or nothing, at least he did that. Yeah. Are you in the church? Yeah. Yes. Do you like my message or don't like my message? Yeah. Blessings. Yes. Blessings. Blessings. And curses. Curses are real. Curses are real. When Joshua defeated Jericho, he said that curse is the man that shall raise up the walls of Jericho. In his firstborn shall he bury, shall he lay the foundations. And in his lastborn son shall he put up the capstone. And it happened practically to the man who came to build it, rebuild it. The man who came to rebuild it had laid his, he laid the foundations of Jericho in his first son and laid the capstone in his last son. Yes. Yes. I tell you. Joshua 6, verse 26. And Joshua adjured them at that, at that time saying, Curse be the man before the Lord. So men of God, has, they have curses. And they have, bless, they have blessings. This is the man of God who is cursing. He says, Curse be the man before the Lord. That riseth up and buildeth this is, Jer- this is Jericho. He shall lay the foundation thereof in his firstborn. And his youngest son shall he set up the gaze of it. Oh yes. oh, yes. And it happened practically. So decide that you are going to do things that will make you inherit blessings. Okay. And not do things that will make you inherit curses. Okay? Yes. God said, I will bless you and make you a blessing. It's just, it's just God who says it. And when God says it, it happens. In Genesis 26, I'm just telling you a story. Because of time, I, I can't go into the verses. That's why I'm just talking. Jacob cheated Esau out of his blessings. Esau said, Lo, he has supplanted me, he has supplanted me twice, these two times. For he took away my birthright, and now he has taken away my blessing. Jacob pretended he was Esau and went to his father and received the blessings. It was a competition. They knew that some words must be spoken over their lives for them to do well. Isaac smelled Jacob and said, hmm, the smell of my son is like the fields. Something, something, some nice blessing. So I, I, want to, I want to hear blessings. And he came here and kissed him and he smelled the smell of his raiment and blessed him and said, See, the smell of my son is as the smell of a field which the Lord has blessed. Tell blessings are real, though. Blessings are real. You should covet blessings. Next verse. Therefore, God give thee of the dew of heaven and the fatness of the earth and give you plenty of corn and plenty of wine. You have plenty of food. It's a blessing to have plenty of food. This morning we learned that you should get to a place where you can eat what you want and, what, what, and not what is available. What you, it's a blessing to be able to eat what you want. Yes. It's a natural journey of life that some people never get to. Some people never get to that place. Yes, because of the case, they never get to that place of getting to a place where they can choose. That there's, there's a Japanese restaurant called Shogun. Do you know Shogun? Yeah. There's a ch- Japanese restaurant called Shogun. When you go, they give you chopsticks. And then you, I don't know how you survive, how you survive, survive. Hey! You have to be there. Yes. All the nice restaurants are around Cantonments and airports. I tell you, and some, some, some ones in East Legon, some one or two in East Legon, some one or two in East Legon. We went to a certain restaurant, an, an Italian restaurant sometimes. You'll be there. You'll be there. You will be there. Yes. We went to a certain Italian restaurant. And you see, you would think that there are no white people in the country. Many white people were there. Hey, plenty of white people seated, enjoying things. Receive the blessing of sitting in some of these places and ordering whatever you want to order. In the name of Jesus. My job is to bless you. 
Listen, my jo- so I just called you to bless you. Hey, receive the blessings now. Receive the blessings now. You can eat whatever you want to eat in the name of the Lord Jesus. And go wherever you want to go. I bless your passports. I bless your passports. It will have many visas inside. You will be able to travel all around the world in the name of the Lord Jesus. Those of you online, receive the blessings now in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Plane tickets will not be a problem for you. You will be able to buy plane tickets without a problem. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. Wherever, whichever part of the world. Jesus. You'll be tired of flying. Jesus. You'll fly business class. Jesus. You'll fly first class. Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Jesus. In your lifetime, you'll fly your private jet. Private jet will come for you. From this country, from whichever country you are in. A private jet will come and say, come and let's move. Let's go. Give the Lord a shout if you have a voice. Wow. Sit down for two minutes. Therefore, God give thee of the dew of heaven, the blessings of heaven, the sweetness of heaven. Let the heavens always shine on you. And the fatness of the... Listen, believe in blessings, though. Spoken words, though. Just spoken words. You you think it's nothing. You think it's nothing. They just just said, they just said God bless it. That's why these days, people don't believe in blessings to the extent that when they work for you and you say God bless you, it's like, oh, my friend Charlie, give me money. One of, our, one of our guys was working in a certain place, you know, and someone gave him, one of the big men gave him, I think, 50 CDs or something like that. And he said, God bless you. The man took his money and said, is it God who gave it to you? Amen. Yes, he took his money. He's in our church. He's one of, one of the guys in our church. Yes, he's in our church. Is it God who blessed you? Is it God who gave it to you? Give him my money. Yes. Yeah, he, doesn't, he doesn't understand that there are blessings and there are curses. There are blessings and there are curses. Nabal did not understand. He was a rich man. Nabal was a rich man. But his name was a curse upon him that he had no idea of. Yes. His name meant folly. So even though he had money, he was bound to be killed. He was bound to die a very wild death. He had no idea. The fact that you are rich does not mean that you are blessed. Ish. Ish. You'd be surprised that some people who claim to be rich actually are living on a borrowed whatever. They are, everything is borrowed. Debts all over them. They are running on debts. And you see it. As you grow, you see. You're like, ah, oh, is that so? Oh, it was all debts. You'd be surprised. Yes. Hallelujah. Blessed. Blessed. He smelled him and said, blessed is my, is, is my son. My son is, is blessed. He's, go to that place. Genesis chapter, chapter 26, right? Yes. 27 rather. He came near and kissed him and smelled him and, and, and said, he smelled the smell of his raiment and blessed him and said, see, the smell of my son is as the smell of a field which the Lord has blessed. Therefore God give thee of the dew of heaven and the fatness of the earth and plenty of corn and wine. Next verse. Let people serve you. People will serve you. People will serve you. You will have servants all over. You have people who will be fetching water for you. You have people who will be driving you. I said you have people who will be driving you around. Yes, you have people who will be cleaning your shoes. People who will be ironing your clothes for you. Yes, without a charge. They will just be doing some of these things for you, free of charge. It's a blessing. Yes, it's a blessing. You have people who will be washing your cars for you. Yes. Yes, you have people who, who will buy things for you free of charge. People who, who specialties should dress you, they'll just be dressing you. Receive that blessing in Jesus' name. Receive that blessing in Jesus' name. People will be buying you shoes, many shoes. They will just buy their job in your lives to buy shoes for you. Every time when they're coming, they are buying shoes. People will be buying perfumes. Receive blessings of perfumes. Is it a powerful thing? Yes. You will not have to use your money to do everything in your life. Yes, you don't have to use your money to do everything in your life. Everything that you do is your own money that you used to do. That curse is taken away from your life. You are blessed with the blessing of having things done for you at no cost. Big things at no cost. Huge things at no cost. Including houses. Receive a house at no cost. Receive a land at no cost. Receive a car at no cost. Receive blessings at no cost. In the name of the Lord Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Receive blessings at no cost. Receive gifts at no cost. Receive phones at no cost. Receive mobile money alerts on your phone. Bank transactions right now in the name of the Lord Jesus. 
Give the Lord a shout if you have a voice. I just came to bless. Because the job of the priest is to bless. Oh, yes. My job as a priest in your life is to bless you. Let me show you a scripture. Deuteronomy chapter 21, I believe. Deuteronomy 21, verse 5. And the priest, the sons of Levi, shall come here. For them the Lord thy God has chosen to minister unto him. And to bless in the name of the Lord. My job is to bless you in the name of the Lord. It says, and by their way shall every controversy and stroke, controversy and every stroke be tried. Hallelujah. So my job is to bless. That's why I'm, I'm here to bless you. Receive blessings in the name of the Lord Jesus. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 1. Yes, the blessings of the Lord. They make us rich. Yes, words spoken over you. Yes. You are blessed with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places. Yes. Receive a new job. Receive a dollar paying job. Yes. You will see dollars in your life. You will see $5,000 coming to you. Have you seen $5,000 together before? I just saw $5,000 just a few hours ago together like this. You will see five thousand dollars, ten thousand dollars, fifty thousand dollars, seventy thousand dollars, a million dollars. One day, one day in your life, you will see ten million dollars on your bed, spread on your bed like this, in the name of the Lord Jesus. And it shall come to pass if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe and to do all His commandments which I commanded this day, that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. Number one, and all these blessings shall come on thee and overtake thee. If thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Next verse. Blessed shall thou be. This is the blessing of Abraham expanded. Wow. This is the expanded version of the blessing of Abraham. Blessed shall thou be in the city. Let, can we read uh, maybe message or TPT? I don't know if TPT does Old Testament. Read Old Testament. If not, now Old Testament. Okay, message. Yes, it says God's blessing inside the city. Are you in a city? Yeah. Are you in a city right now? I don't know where you are, but I'm sure you are in a city somewhere, wherever you find yourself. Yeah. The Bible says, the Lord says to tell you that you shall be blessed. You are blessed in the city. In the city. Yes. 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 City blessings. Yes. The city will respond to you. Yes. yes. Listen, you will have in your lifetime, eh, you will have diplomats and cons consulates becoming your friends. Jesus. Do you understand? The British High Commissioner will be your friend. One of these days, the British High Commissioner will be your friend. He will come and eat in your house. Yes. In the name of the Lord Jesus. One of these days, the German ambassador to this country will become, will be your friend. You can call her on phone and call him on phone and say, Charlie, I want you to come for, for lunch. Can we meet here for lunch? It will happen practically in your life. In the name of the Lord Jesus. You may look like you are nothing now. You may look like you are nothing now. Jacob left his house like nothing. But he was going away with blessings. 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 He had some words spoken over him. He had some words spoken over him. Yes. God's blessings in the country. In this same country in which things are happening and things are not. You will, you will walk in blessings. You will walk in blessings. Blessings of corn. Having plenty of corn. Having plenty of wine. The dew of heaven will respond to you. You are blessed in your going out and your coming in. Yes, blessed with the blessings of strength and health. Your back will not see any hospital bed. Your eyes will not see the ceiling of any hospital. In the name of the Lord Jesus. You only go to visit sick people. But you will not be put there. You will walk in blessings and in health. All the days of your life. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Blessed bless are you in your going out. And blessed are you in your coming in. In the name of the Lord Jesus. A thousand shall fall at your side. And 10,000 at your right side. But it shall not come nigh thee. With thy eyes only shall you behold the reward of the wicked. Because the Lord's hands is resting upon you. Oh, hallelujah. Sit down for two minutes. Let me try and close the meeting. Yes. Malaga Dabaya. Yes. Blessed. Blessed. Listen. Jacob smelled the... Isaac smelled the young man and said, listen, you are, you are blessed. You are blessed. Go, go, to, the, go to that place. Eh? He came here and blessed. He said, ah, the, 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 your smell is as the field which the Lord has blessed. Next verse. Okay, next verse. I'll come back to the other place. Therefore, God give thee of the dew of heaven and the fatness of the earth and plenty of corn 
and wine, the fatness of the earth, all the nice things. You see, it's, not, it's a blessing to have nice things in the earth. The fatness of the earth. Do you understand? You drive Land Cruises. You drive Jaguars. I mean, we're sitting in a place where someone make it, one of the people then made a call just a few minutes ago. One, one of the people made a call and said that, tell them that we are going to this place so they should bring, they should bring the, 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 she said, she mentioned, like, she mentioned a certain, and then said, not the Jaguar. She said, not the Jaguar. They, they should take the Jaguar back. They should bring this other car because that one is higher and we can go with that one. Hey! You'll be making a call and saying, bring the Jaguar. Bring the Jaguar. Bring the S-Class. In the name of the Lord Jesus. The Escalade. Bring the Escalade. Bring the Lincoln. The Lincoln Navigator. Yes, it's happening in your life. In Jesus' name. My job is to bless in the name of the Lord. I have come to bless you in the name of the Lord. Receive it. Receive it online. Receive it in the name of Jesus. You will not go down. The hotter it gets, the higher you go. In the name of the Lord Jesus. The hotter it gets, the higher you go. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Look at your next verse. Sit down for two hours. You end up flying. Sit down for two minutes. Let people serve thee. Let people serve thee. And nations bow down to thee. People will serve you. Not only people, nations will bow down to you. Listen, he's talking to one man. He's talking to one man, one man, one man, one man. Do you know how Jacob was buried? Do you know Jacob's funeral? Jacob, first of all, do you know how Jacob was carried into Egypt? Jacob was carried into Egypt in grand style. Pharaoh, the king of Egypt, sent wagons. Wagons. G wagons. Hey, it's a wagon. Receive a G wagon now. In the name of Jesus. He sent wagons. Listen, when they were saying this about him, man, he had nothing. He, so today it's like you don't have anything. You, you may not even have a degree. But what the Lord is telling me to tell you that nations will serve you. Yes, nations will serve you. Nations will bow down to you. I learned something about the Jews when I went, one of those days when I went to America. You'll be in America. I said you'll be in America. One of these days I'll be going to America. You hear that I'm doing a meeting in America. And you'll say, oh, 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 I'm coming. I'm coming. Two days notice. You'll buy a, a, a first class ticket and come and come over there to America for a meeting for just three days and come back. Receive it now in Jesus' name. Yeah. Yes, I tell you. Yes, look at the Genesis 46 verse 5. And Jacob rose up from Beersheba, and the sons of Israel carried Jacob, their father, and their little ones, and their wives, in the wagons which Pharaoh has sent to carry him. Wagons, wagons, wagons. This was a time of famine. The time of famine. This, I tell you, wagons. Wagons, many wagons. Do you know how, Israel, do you know how Jacob was, was buried? Do you know how Jacob was buried? Jacob was buried by Pharaoh himself. Wow. He was buried like a king. Wow. All of Pharaoh's servants went to go and bury Jacob. Wow. Everybody. Wow. Yes. They mourned for him for days. Wow. And the land of Canaan was shocked. Wow. Yes. It's in the Bible. I'm not the ones. Go, go find it. It's in Genesis 48 somewhere. No, no. It's after 49. So Genesis 50, I think. Go, go look for it. You will be shocked. The day I read, I said, man, the blessings work. When we were talking to him, he said he was a one human being, no child, no nothing, nothing. 50 verse 1. Genesis 50 verse 1. You would think it's a joke. As they are saying things, you would think, oh, I mean, I mean, it will happen practically in your life. It will happen practically. Listen, I'm operating in blessings, oh. I'm just operating. That's, that's all. I'm just a blessed man. Yeah. You hear what the Archbishop said? Your, your, your bishop is a miracle. I'm a miracle. I'm, I'm just tapping into blessings all over the place. Yes, I'm not dealing with curses. I'm dealing with blessings. 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 Yes. And Joseph fell upon his father's face and wept upon him and kissed him. Next verse. And Joseph commanded someone to serve the, uh, his servants, the physicians, to embalm his father. And the physicians embalmed Israel. And 40 days were for food for him. For so I fulfilled the days of those which I am bound. And the Egyptians mourned for him three score and ten days. That's 70 days. They cried every day for 70 days. 
over Jacob. Over Jacob's a stranger. A stranger. Jacob lived in Israel for just 17 years. 17 years. Yes, he lived, he lived in Egypt for just 17 years. 70 days, they mourned the whole of Egypt. Next verse, you will see, you'll be shocked. And when the days of the morning were passed, Joseph spoke unto the house of Pharaoh, saying, If now I have found grace in your eyes, speak, I pray you, in the, in the ears of Pharaoh, saying, My father made me swear, saying, Lo, I die in my grave, which I have digged for me in the land of Canaan. It's a blessing to dig a, a grave for yourself. A ble- One of the blessings of the Lord is for you to be able to buy a land that you'll be, you'll be, where you'll be buried. You, you buy your tomb before you die. It's a blessing. Many people don't, don't have that kind of blessing. They find, I mean, they, in some people cry, it's, it's not found. They use shovel to carry them, bury them mass grave, I tell you. It's a blessing. It's a blessing. Yes. Abraham bought a grave site where he was buried, his wife was buried, and where Jacob was buried. All those people were buried, they all, they all there. Isaac, everybody's buried there. It's a blessing. Receive the blessing of being buried in a place where you choose. You have, you say that I will be buried, I want to be buried here. Yeah. Yes. When you turn 90, 95, then you say, okay, so I'm buying this estate. It's for, the, it's for my burial, my children's burial. Anyone who's connected to you, this is where we'll be buried. You'll be by me. Yongi Cho, Yongi Cho is buried here. His wife is buried here. His mother in law is buried here. And his assistant is buried here. They are, they are, they are buried in a, they, are, they bought a place. It's a blessing. Yes. To be, to be able to locate that I want to be buried. This is where I want to have my find. When Jesus is coming for my body, I want to rise from this side. And then when I'm coming, I'll be coming like this. Hey! Hey! Like Tashon. You know Tashon. Shifu. You are just flowing like that. Receive the blessings of being buried where you want to be buried. Yes. My father bade me, made me swear, saying, Lo, I die in my grave, which I have digged for me in the land of Canaan. There shall thou bury me. Now, therefore, let me go up, I pray thee, and bury my father, and I'll come again. So Joseph was just requesting for him to go and bury his father alone. Look at it. And Pharaoh said, Go up and bury thy father, according as he made this word. Next verse. And Joseph went up to bury his father, and with him went up all the servants of Pharaoh. Oh. oh. The elders of Pharaoh's house. And all the elders of the land of Egypt. Like they buried, he was buried like a king. State burial. Yes, state burial. I tell you. Next verse. And all the house of Joseph and his brethren and his father's house, only the little ones and their flocks and their heads, they left in the land of Canaan. Next, in, the, in that land of Kojah, sorry. And they went up with him, both chariots and horsemen. I tell you, and it was a very great company. It was a very great company. When his father was telling him that nations will bow to you, eh? there was not there was no nation around. He was running away from his brother who was going to kill. He was running away from one person who was going to kill him. One person was going to kill him. Yeah. So as we are talking about this blessings, like you are wondering, hey, is that how is it going to happen? I don't care how it's going to happen. I don't care how it's going to happen. I've just been sent as a prophet of God to you. And I've come to tell you, that say the Lord. That say the Lord. You are the blessed of God. This earth will respond to you. Blessings in this country. Blessings in this city. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Yes. They went up with him, both chariots and horsemen. And it was a very great company. Next verse, verse 10. Thank you, Holy Ghost. And they came to the treasure floor of Atad, which is beyond Jordan. And there they mourned with a great and very sore lamentation as though Joseph was their father. And he made a mourning for his father seven days. Next verse. After seven days, seven more days. And when the inhabitants of the land, the king and I saw the mourning in the floor. When they saw the mourning in the floor of Atad, they said, this is a grievous mourning to the Egyptians. Wherefore, the name of, the, of it is called, was called Abel Mizraim, which is beyond Jordan. Wow. All the land of Canaan saw. Wow. Yes. They saw Joseph, Jacob being buried in grand style. Why? Blessings had been spoken over him. Blessings. Yes, blessings had been spoken, spoken over him. By his father. Blessings. By his father. So ask, ask your father, I've come to just say, hey. you, are, you are blessed. That's why, that's why we are organizing this business. Just blessings. This is our year of shepherding, serving the Lord to shepherding as he blesses us. The Lord is blessing. The Lord has decided to bless you. He decided to bless you. Yes. So blessed are you in your going out. In this same land called Ghana, and whichever land in Nigeria where you find yourself, in the UK where you find yourself, nations will bow to you. Yes. Nations will bow to you. You will enjoy the fatness of the heavens and the fatness of the earth. You will have plenty of corn. Your fridge will always be full. You will never cry about food. No 
matter the hunger that is going on, you'll be feeding others. You will be feeding others. You will feed others. In the name of the Lord Jesus. You will have more than enough to be a blessing to others. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Give the Lord a shout if you have a voice. Hallelujah. Oh. Point number one. So that next week we don't go to it. He's to manifesting the blessings of God. So you are blessed. Look at all the things God has spoken over you right now. Number one, acknowledge the blessings of the Lord. Acknowledge it. Acknowledge the fact that you are blessed. Wow. And Philemon chapter 1, verse 6. Acknowledge. Just acknowledge the fact that you are blessed. One of you I'm blessed, though, Charlie. I'm blessed. I'm not like every other. I'm, not, I'm blessed. I'm different. It's called the Abrahamic exceptionalism. Hmm? Abraham is, Abraham is he's exceptional. He's different. He's separated. That's how you are. You're also separated. Jesus hung on the cross so that the blessing of Abraham might come upon you. So that you will enjoy the blessing of Abraham. So that you might be grafted. Listen, I said I learned something when I went to America. That most Jews don't create inheritance for their children. They create inheritance for their children's children. Because their children were sorted out by their grandfather. So grandfather, the blessing, it says, um, um, a righteous man liveth an inheritance for his children's children. They do it practically. They do it what? Practically. I met a, a friend who has been in the U.S. for about 15 years and has dealt with them. And he says, what is, he, he does realize, he says, when they come and they're buying, they buy blocks. So someone will come and say, okay, I'm, I want to buy all these blocks. They can buy about seven blocks with I'm not talking about seven buildings, I'm, I'm blocks. A block can have about six buildings in there. He buy, buy this block, this block, this block. He's bought the whole block. For who? For his grandchildren. Because his children were sorted about, out by their father. So what, their, what his children need has been sorted out. So he's not thinking about his children, he's thinking about his grandchildren. So everybody thinks about grandchildren and great-grandchildren. That, that's, that's how it is. Receive that blessing. Oh. That's a blessing of Abraham working in their lives practically, practically, practically. What God said is happening. Listen, the world's financial system is controlled by these guys. Yes, it's controlled by these guys. All the banking sector for a long time. That is why Hitler got angry. Yeah, because they were, they, were, they were owned everything. They were too rich. They were too rich. You see, rich, riches is not dressing. And chains. That are boat type of chains. You know that are boat. Da 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 boat in <laughs> Not that kind of jaunimi jaunimi. No, cool but rich. Yeah, it's cool but rich. Cool but what? But rich. You will not see. They are just moving around with their spectacles and moving around with their hair around their ears like that with their hats. They are super rich. They are billionaires. Billionaires, I tell you. Oh yes, yes. So receive the blessing of making inheritance for your children's children. Your children's children. A good man liveth an inheritance to his children's children. And the wealth of the sinner is laid up for the just. Receive grace for the, to have the wealth of the unjust. Today, today, Archbishop blessed me and says, he said that, listen, someone is buying some lands and doing some things today. He doesn't know that it's all for you guys. <laughs> he says, when you get there, you will say, ah, so this guy was doing all these things for us. Yeah. It's a blessing. He just said it. It's just, that is something you take seriously. Yes. It doesn't look like it's something. It's a something. Pa. That is what I'm looking for. Yes. I just wanted to hear that. And that was what I heard. Yes. Yes. That is why you give seeds and do all those things. So you can hear something said to you. Are you in the church you have gone home? Yes. See, I'm blessed. So point number one, acknowledge it. Okay. Acknowledge the fact that you are blessed. Tell me about Acknowledge. Eh? And I'm looking, the scripture is Philemon chapter 1, verse 6. Okay? I'm just giving the points. We are, our time is up to close. I pray that the communication of your faith may become effectual by the acknowledging of every good thing which is in you in Christ Jesus. So start the way to manifest the blessings. Let the blessings show forth. Okay? It's by acknowledging. Yes. TPT. My wife says TPT. She likes TPT now. It's a, it's a version for young people. Isn't it? Acknowledge every good thing which is in you in Christ Jesus. One of the good things which you have is the fact that you are blessed. You are the blessing of the Lord. You, are the, you have the Abrahamic blessing in the earth. Acknowledge it. Start 
Start thinking about it. Start, have, let that be your thoughts. Let that, let that be. So you can read Deuteronomy. I don't have time. That's why I'm not reading. Deuteronomy 28. You can read from verse 1 to the end and see the curses as well. Okay? Yes. Look at, look at, the, okay, TPT. I pray for you that the faith we, ha- we share may effectively, d- effectively deepen your understanding of every good thing that belongs to you in Christ. This is good, but that is not what he's trying to say. Yes, that's not what he's saying. He's, let, he's trying to let you know that you need to learn to acknowledge, accept, do you see, the good things. Uh, maybe a maybe message will say something nicer. Appropriate it. Like, think it. Let it be part of your thought process that you are blessed. So don't complain about what is going on. When you see the full price, because it's going higher and higher. If you're not careful, you will start seeing bad things about your life. How are we going to survive? We can't even pay anything. We can't do anything. The school fees is going up. This one is happening. This is happening. How can we give in half children? How can we marry? How can I do this? How can I do that? All this money and uh, the dollar has become this. Right now we are paying so much. We don't even know how we are going to survive. We don't know where money is going to come from. Don't talk like that. One of the things to, uh, to manifest the blessing is talking. I'll talk about it in just a few seconds. Okay? I keep praying that this faith we hold in common keeps showing up in the good things we do and that people recognize Christ in all of it. That's not also not it. Amplify says it very well. Look at Amplify. I pray that the participation and, and sharing of your faith may produce and promote full recognition and appreciation and understanding and precise knowledge of every good thing that is ours in our identification with Christ Jesus and unto his glory. You see, full recognition. He wants you to start recognizing and appreciating the fact that you are the blessed of God. I'm the blessed of God. So you think it. This is, you don't need to even confess. Just think, start thinking it. I'm the favorite of God. Wherever I go, I'm favored. You see, think it. Believe it. Trust it. Okay? That's the first point. That's the first key to manifest. As you are thinking it. You see, Jacob did not go everywhere saying that I'm the blessed of God, I'm the blessed of God, I'm the blessed of God. But just by being around, as he's around, he's not saying anything. But things are working in a different way because of his presence. Yes. Genesis chapter 39 verse 1. Genesis 39 verse 1. He says, and Jake, uh, Joseph arrived in Potiphar's and Joseph was brought down to Egypt and Potiphar, an officer of Egypt, of Pharaoh, captured on the guard and Egypt and bought him of the hands of the Ishmaelites, which had brought him down thither. He was bought. The guy was bought. But look at the next verse. He says, and the Lord was with Joseph. That is all. That, the, the Lord is a blessing. The presence of the Lord. Eh? He says that in the presence of the Lord, there's fullness of joy. And at his right hand, there's, there are pleasures forevermore. His presence is what brings joy and pleasures. Fatness. Tell it's not bad to be, be able to go to a restaurant. Like you can spend 2,000 cities in a restaurant. I'm not saying you have 3,000. You go and, you go and use 2,000. That's what I'm talking about. You understand what I'm saying? Don't go tomorrow and go and say that, oh, beloved, my beloved, the, the, I mean, I'm blessed now. Let's go. You realize that Let's eat what we want to eat. <laughs> it doesn't work like that. Uh, it's a what? It's a process, okay? Yeah. That will show me the part of life. Go, go back to that place. Go back to Genesis 39. Joseph was blessed because the presence of God was with him. He says, and the Lord was, was with Joseph, uh, Joseph, and he was a, a prosperous man. And he was in the house of his master, the Egyptian. And his master saw that the Lord was with him. And that the Lord made all that he did to prosper in his hand. You see, he was not going around and saying, the Lord is with me, the Lord is with me, the Lord is with me. This is it's a thought, a, a thinking process, acknowledging a mindset, have that mind, have that consciousness that you are the blessed of God and that the company is blessed because of you and that your family is blessed because of your presence. Just, just that knowledge, acknowledging it. It's a way of manifesting. That's acknowledging it like that in your heart and in your mind. It just starts showing forth in, around you. Yes. yes. When you show up, beauty comes. When you touch it, it becomes nice because it's your consciousness. You see, and your consciousness starts influencing how you talk. Okay. Okay. If, so the, the, the next thing you can write, the next key you can write, is seven. I'm just naming them for you, okay? The key of confessions. Confessing what you are. So that is there. It's a key. What you say is what you get, isn't it? What you say is what you get. What you say is what you get. Yeah. Death and life are in the power of the tongue. And they that love it shall eat the food thereof. No be so. Yeah. What you say is what you say. So as you are saying, it's happening around you. God said, let there be light. And there was light. Yes. As you say it, it happens. 
as you're saying it's happening. So the thinking, that, I want you to know that the thinking gets you to manifest it. Okay? Yeah. Hmm. I don't want to mix up the keys, but you can, you can put it in any way you want. Okay? Huh. Potiphar said concerning Joseph that I have learned by, he also said it, I've learned by experience. Go back to Genesis 39. Verse 3 says, and, and his master saw that the Lord, the Lord was with him. Uh-huh. Go to verse 4. So he gave him everything uh, to oversee. Next verse. And it came to pass from, the, from that time, from the time that he had made him overseer in his house and over all that he had, that the Lord blessed the Egyptian's house uh, for Joseph's sake. And the blessing of the Lord was upon all that he had in the house and in the field. There's something called the blessing, like it's, it's, it's upon the house and upon the field. Like, Everywhere is dry, but his field is green. They can't keep the lawns there. They can't keep the lawn here. The lawn here, they are watching this lawns here. They are watching it, but this one is working. This one is not working. They are planted on a similar land, but this one is bearing fruit. This one is the blessing of the Lord. It maketh rich. There's something like that. Potiphar realized it. And he left all that he had in, the, in Joseph's hands. And he knew not what he had, save the bread which he did eat. And Joseph was a goodly person and well favored. Wow. Yes. What a blessing. So, acknowledge the fact that you are blessed. Okay? Acknowledge it. Recognize it. Hmm? So, if I were you, I'll put number two as meditate. Meditation. Meditation causes the manifestation of the blessings. Meditation on the fact that you are the blessed of God. Hmm? Meditating on the word of God. Causes the word, the, the manifestation of the blessing, then you can add confessions to it. Please, you understand? Mm-hmm. I'm just mentioning the point. I have too many scriptures, but just because of time. And I don't want to pick it up next Sunday. So I want to give it to you, and then you can go and think about it yourself. Because there are several messages along these lines. Do you understand? Mm. So, meditation, you can use uh, Psalm 1, verse 1, 2, 3. Blessed is the man, go to that place. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the castle of the ungodly, nor standing in the way of sinners, nor sitting in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord. And in his Lord does he meditate day and night. This he shall be. The meditation makes him be. The meditation makes you be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth its fruit in the season. He says, his leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. Whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. Your leaves will not wither. I said your lips will not wither. How? Through the practice and the cultivation of the art of meditation in God's word. Learning to sit down for 15 minutes and tossing the scripture in your mind that the blessings of of, of Abraham is resting upon upon me. Learning to toss those scriptures in your mind. You see, meditation is worrying on the word, if you like. If you have worried before, you know how to meditate. If you have ever thought about Something for a while. Sometimes you can meditate on a girl. Is it a message? I was talking to one, one gentleman who had a beloved, and after some time, his love was shifting to another person. And the other person was not correct. So he told me about it. I said, hey, you are making a very big mistake. Your beloved is a Christian girl. Do you understand a Christian girl? Your beloved is a child. Like, hey, you can't afford to lose this one. This girl... That girl is a strange woman. You know it. He knew he knew that this one. But as we're talking, he said that okay, he'll do something about it. After about six months, when I met him again, or one year when I met him again, and we're talking, he said that Pastor, I realized what I was doing. I realized I was meditating on this other girl. So my meditating on her on on her was make was stirring up a desire in me for her. When I cast the meditation, I became free. And I my love for my beloved started coming once again. Yeah, so you can meditate on a lady, meditating on her hips, meditating on something. Some what? you're just thinking huh? every day, every now and then you'll be driving. You're looking at the road, and you're just smiling. <laughs> hey! Has it happened to you before? Oh yes. So if that happens to you, then you can meditate on the word. Catch yourself thinking on the word. When you, you want, what was I thinking about? Oh, I was meditating on Galatians 3.13. Oh, nice, 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 nice. Yes. 
<laughs> eh? Meditation on God's word causes you to manifest the blessings of God. The manifestation of the blessings of God starts showing up around you. You meditate on the fact that you are the blessed of God. I'm the blessed of God. Nothing that is happening around will affect me. The more you do that, the more fruit you bear. So this is a key. It's a key. And each key produces results. I'm not saying you put all the keys together and then you have one result. No. Each of them. The key of acknowledging brings results. Recognizing brings results. The key of meditation brings results. The key of confession brings results. So these are seven ways that you can have results. You can pick any at any time. And say, I'm employing this particular one. I want it to show forth in my life. It to show forth in your life. If you meditate on the fact that you can never be bounced by any, any place. Every country you want to go to, you can go to. Wow. Okay. Yes. Some years ago, I used to meditate on that. Every country I want to go to, I can go to. I am not limited to the country where I was born. Yes. Whatever I start will go international. I don't know if you remember, some years ago, I used to stay a lot. That was my meditation at that time. Yes. Whatever I start to go around the world. Yes. Every blessing, everyone who prays for every man who prays for me will always say, Love Economy Church will go all around the world. I hear it a lot of times because it's been my meditation for a long time. And so it just shows up. Some people ask me, how do you have international, how do you do international ministry? I have just been meditating on it. I've just been meditating on it. That it will, it will happen. We'll be everywhere. We can be here and it will work. We are going to Kenya, it will work. We are going to, we are going to Zimbabwe, it will work. We are going to Nigeria, it will work. We'll have churches in Nigeria, churches in Kenya, churches in, in Zimbabwe, churches in Zambia, churches in Sierra Leone, in Liberia, in Gambia, everywhere. We'll have churches everywhere. Burkina Faso, everywhere. Do you believe what I'm saying? I believe it. <laughs> believe it too. I believe it. Those of you who have been here for some time, you realize that as we are talking, the thing is happening. Yeah. Have you noticed? Yeah. Hmm. I am gone. So start talking. <laughs> start what? Talking. What did you say? I am gone. I am gone. Yes, I told you you'd be going and you are gone. All these people have gone. They are all gone. When I was telling them, when I was telling them that you go, you go and start the way. I'll make you a pastor. I'll make you a pastor. Hey. Yeah, I'll... Pastor, not at all. <laughs> what? Confess it. Say it. Talk about it. Meditate on it. Each of them, each of the points, each of the keys. What? Just acknowledging. As you are there, you just be acknowledging. Charlie, I'm blessed. Though. I'm blessed. I'm blessed of God. Now, this country, this country cannot hold me down. I will not live here and die here without flying anywhere in my life. I'll fly to different places. I'll fly to South Africa at will. I'll fly to any place. I'll fly to London. UK will not, they will not bounce my visa. Even if they bounce me, I'll go again. They will, they will accept me. I have, I have someone, we have someone who is there. He was bounced about four times. Yes, but the prophecy said that you are going to be there. So he kept going, kept knocking on their door. He's there now, live. Yes. Wow. Wow. One of our brothers is in a certain country. He couldn't believe that it could could happen in his life. It's unbelievable. The day he told me, I said, are you serious? Are you sure? Listen, your confessions and your meditations and your acknowledging will make a world of a difference. That's what makes it happen. It makes it show forth. So in these times where everybody's talking plenty and making all kinds, start, you do what God has given to you. Listen, everybody is seeing their power. Mm-hmm. I was being told about some people who have received some grants from certain places because of some institution they are in, some courts they are in. Yes. One received a certain whatever worth, worth about $10 million. Yes. And after the $10 million, about $7 million is for the project. $3 million is for him. Cool chop. $3 million. Because of the court, or of the court he's in. Yeah. You say you belong to Jesus Christ. Charlie, connect yourself proper. Connect yourself. What's the connection? Acknowledge. That's why I'm teaching you these things. Acknowledge now. Meditate now. Don't let WhatsApp take your meditation time. Yes. Don't let WhatsApp take your. Put it aside. It's time to. We like WhatsApp, but put it, it's time to meditate. Yes. You toss it in your mind. I'm the blessed of God. I will never go down. I will never go down. Yeah. Listen, we started talking about how we are going to build, we are going to do this, we are going to appoint pastors. Is it not happening? It's not happening. Yes. So, I mean, if you have been around for that, you realize that, hey, Charlie, there's some, something is working. 
We all don't know it's blessings that are just flowing all around. Blessings all over the place. Today some blessings will flow, some blessings will flow. Hey! Hmm. We are buying lands, buying cars, buying whatever, buying... Hey! God used us, small boys and girls, to build this. And when people come here, they think that this is the only thing we have built. They go, you just say, it's great. Just say, they don't know that there's another one here, another one. and another one here, and another one here, and another one. It's a surprise. We are buying more. Land. They don't know. Is it our offering that is doing it? It's the Lord. I mean, how much? Ask your neighbor. How are you? Just ask your neighbor, how are you? How is your temperature like? Number four, the key of trusting God. The key of what? Trusting God. Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 4. The key of trusting God. Learning to trust. Do you understand trusting God? Trusting what God has said. So no matter what you are going through today, you don't, you don't, you don't mind. God has said this, that is it. Eh? And thou even thyself that shall discontinue. Go to, go to verse, verse 5. Yes. That says the Lord. Cares be the man that trusted in man and maketh flesh his arm. Like when you trust in human beings, when you make a man your, your like, your buggering is dependent on this man and, and what he will do and what, what he, how he will favor you and whatever is your constant meditation, is your constant acknowledgement, is your constant confession. Your uncle. Or yourself, even yourself. You can trust yourself that if I can put some one or two things here and do this and do that and do this, it will, it will pick up. The business will pick up. Hey, he realized that it's not fine. It's not working. Have you experienced it before? Learn to put your trust in God. Putting your trust in God makes his blessing come in your life. Like learning to say, God, I don't have anyone. Years ago, I made plans and I wrote the source of the finance. I said, God, only God can. It's only God who can bring this. No. My trust is in you. I don't have anyone anywhere. I don't have a father who will do whatever. I don't have an uncle who will do whatever. I don't have a mother who will do whatever. I don't have a friend who will do whatever. You are my uncle. You are my friend. You are my father. You are my mother. You are my everything. God, you better show up. You better show up. It's you. It's you that I have. I don't have anyone anywhere else. It's you that I have. I trust you. No plan B. You are the only plan I have. You are the only plan I have. You are the only plan I have. Yes. Learning to do that. Learning to trust God. Learning to trust God. Do you see? Learning to trust God and trust what he has said. What he has said. I mean, this is, this is what I have. I don't have anything anywhere. What do you think? That curse, you see, it's a curse. I told you we're dealing with blessings and curses. Curse, curse is the man, is, is be the man that trusted in man and maketh his flesh, his flesh, his arm, and whose heart departed from the Lord. So you have to pick things. Do your own moves. You have stopped going to church now. You have stopped going to church. Like, scamming is the main thing. We were talking to someone recently, just a week ago. You know. They were into scamming, all kinds of things. And God, by some mysterious means, brought us to him. And four, five men of God were there in that meeting with him. Prophesying to this guy, yes, prophesying to this guy, telling him his life. I mean, every secret about his life was revealed in a period of 20 minutes. Yes. I tell you, this one will say, this man of God will say, this one will say, this one will say this, I'll say this, this one will say this. Everybody. And everything's on point, on point, on point, on point, on point. His name that is in Adaka, in a box that has been hidden for years, was brought out. That name, the name that he's not called by today, was brought out. Do you see? I mean, if all these things are, happen are happening, what do you think you should, you should do? You should do? Like, you should submit to the Lord immediately, isn't it? The Lord, it's like the Lord wants you and he wants to change your life. You know, and we're even prophesying about how his life is online and all of that too. And then, I mentioned that you should, should stop the scamming. Because they are not mentioned it, but I mentioned, no, nobody, nobody has said he was coming, but that was what he was doing. Do you get it? Then I said that, stop the scamming. You don't need that to prosper. Because God has given you a certain kind of wisdom that you need, that you have. So you don't need to scam. You don't need your wisdom to scam. Do you know what he said? Tell the boys for chopo. That's what he said. Tell the boys for chopo. Ah, 
after all the things the man 20 30 minutes old this one say this one say this one say this one say this one. that was their response Charlie man for chop boys for chop oh yes This is I meet people. I realize that some people, it's like they have gone beyond the place where they can, they can, they can be saved. It's like you can't, they can't, that, that's, it's like they've chosen mammon over God. Consciously. And it's like you can't help them. Yeah. Hey. Hmm. He trusts in himself and his abilities to make one or two things happen. When you learn to trust the fact that you can't, I can't help myself. Lord, I need your wisdom. I need your strength. I need your blessings. I need you. I need you to move on my behalf. Are you in the church? Yeah. Next verse. verse. Oh, Charlie, I'm supposed to have closed by now. Daddy, close. Lift up your hands and start talking to the Lord. For he shall be like the heat in the desert. The guy who trusts in man and makes trust in his place. He shall be like the heat in the desert and shall not see when good cometh. But shall inhabit the patched places in the wilderness. And in a salt land and not inhabited. Ampli- uh, uh, message, go back, message. He's like a tumbleweed in a. Pr- we don't understand. Prior, out of touch with the good. You have. Uh, uh, BB, BB. For he will be like a brushwood in the upland. Ah, brushwood, uh, uh, what is that? Brushwood in the upland and will not see when good comes. But his living place will be in the dry places, in the wasteland, in a salt on. On peopled and on peopled land. Amplified, eh? Amplified the better. Okay, amplified. For he shall be like a shrub. Shrub, dear, I think we, we know shrub, innit? He shall be like a shrub or a person naked and destitute in the desert. Hey, what a case. And he shall not see any good come, but shall dwell in the patched places of the wilderness, in an uninhabited salt land. It's English. What does it say? I'm closing this point number four, right? Yeah. It says, those people will be like a bush in a wild place. Wow. They will not become rich when other people become rich. Hey. Hey. They will stay in a dry, salty places where nobody lives. Wow. Next verse. That is not your life in Jesus' name. In Jesus name. Blessed is the man. King James, please. Blessed is the man that trusts in the Lord. So the man who trusts trust in the Lord blesses you. Do you understand? Yeah. Yes, trusting in That's why it's one of the, the keys. Yes, trusting in the Lord causes you to be blessed. Blessed is the man that trusts in the Lord and whose hope the Lord is. His hope, all his hope is the Lord. Next verse. Then we read the English. For he shall be as a tree planted by the waters. You see, this one too makes you a tree planted by the waters. Meditation makes you a tree planted by the waters. This one, trusting the Lord, makes you a tree planted by the waters. And that spread out her roots by the river, and shall not see when the heat cometh. We shall not see when the pressure comes. He shall not see when the famine comes. He shall not see when the fuel prices increase. We shall not see when they are priced. He shall not see. He will just buy the tomatoes without asking any questions. He will just buy the KFC without asking, hey, hey when did it change? When did the price change? I have only 50 gun now. How much do you say it's 55? Hey, will you add the price to this for me? I can't buy it too. Receive grace to not see when things are changing. Yes. Oh, yes, you will not feel it. But her leaves shall be green and shall not be careful. He shall not be what? Careful. You will not be careful in the year of drought. Neither shall see from yielding fruit. You will not be careful and say, oh, let me reduce. Let me, let me, let, let's tighten my, let me tighten my belt. You will not tighten your belt in these times. You open your belt fully. Hey! Malaga Dabaya. It's happening for you. Trust in God. Just simple trust in God. Trust in the Lord with all your hearts. And lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him. Trusting the Lord is acknowledging him. Acknowledging the Lord. Lord, is you. Help me. Make it work. Push things. Make things happen. If you trust in the Lord, you learn to pray. Wow. You see, praying to the Lord is, is a form of trusting in the Lord. That's faith. Read the uh, 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 easy English for us. Hallelujah. Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 7. The person who lets the Lord lead him is not like that. The Lord will bless the man who follows him. Wow. He will be like a tree near water that drinks from the river. He will not be afraid of the sun's heat. Wow. He will be like a tree that is always green. Mm. The tree gives much fruit and it always has enough water. Wow. Wow. So learn to trust in the Lord. Okay? So read more about what it means to trust God. We don't have time. Key number one. 
5. The key of receiving and running with the prophetic word. The key of receiving and running with the prophetic word. 2 Chronicles 20, 20. Receiving and running with the prophetic word. When a prophet speaks, acknowledge it. Eh? Believe in the Lord your God and you shall be established. Believe his prophets, so shall he prosper. Believe in his prophets, so shall he prosper. Elijah came and spoke to the widow of Zarephath and told her that, listen, that bowl will not run dry. That oil will not run dry. It worked in her life. She believed in it. Hmm? Elisha said, tomorrow by this time, there shall be abundance of food in the system. Believe it. Believe. You see, these are key. I said, you see, everyone works. You can, you can, which one works for you? So, which, whichever is working for you at a particular time, just take it. Yeah. Just take it and, and just flow with it. Yes, if tomorrow you wake up and you realize that confession is what is coming, just do it. You realize it's, it's like playing some worship songs to let God know that Charlie is you alone. I used to sing that song a lot because I just especially, Lord, it's you. It's you. It's you. I don't have anyone, anything, anywhere. I don't have any, any no plan B. All my eggs are in your basket. A boy, a boy. If it's finished, if it crashes, crash. It's you alone. You can sing so much. The reason why we sing worship songs and listen to worship songs is just to express our heart. Let God know that, like, Charlie. Now you. Now you. And then you be ready for a prophetic word. Be ready for a prophetic word. And Isaac was just prophesying to his child. Hmm? He blessed him. He just spoke. Noah just spoke. These are all prophets. And their words. And what they said came to pass practically. Practically. All that Jacob said concerning his 12 sons came to pass practically. When Esau came back and realized that Jacob had taken his blessing, he told his father, is there no blessing left for me? Is there no blessing left for me? And Jacob started blessing him. And in the blessing, there was a curse. There was a clause. He said that, listen, you will serve your brother. And he shall keep you captive until you are able to break loose from his captivity. And Esau said unto his father, this is Genesis 27, 38. Has thou not a one blessing? My father, bless me, even bless me, even me also. Oh, my father. And Esau lifted up his voice and wept. And Isaac, Isaac, his father, answered and said unto him, Behold, thy dwelling shall be the fatness of the earth and of the dew of heaven from above. And by, the, by thy sword shalt thou live. This is a curse. By thy sword, you need to fight to be able to live. By thy sword shalt thou live and shall serve thy brother and it shall come to pass when thou shalt have the dominion that thou shalt break his yoke from off thy neck. This happened several years later, about, about 500 or 600 years later. That was when he was able to break Edom. There's a, there's a reference there to another, in this particular verse, there's a reference to another verse somewhere. Kings. Second Kings, what? 820. In the time of Judah, Edom broke. Yes, Re read it. Yes, in whose days? Who's, which king was that? In his days, Edom revolted. From under, under the, the hand, hand of, of Judah, Judah and made, made a king over themselves Jerusalem. for all their life up to this yes. place. Many and this many many years after, yes. When the man of God spoke, it happened. Oh yes, oh, yeah. oh, it's all spoken words. So believe and run. It's also a means of experiencing and manifesting the blessings of God. When the prophet speaks, Charlie. And you see that you don't need someone to come and stand and say, "Do you know I'm a prophet of God?" And uh, no, no. No, no. Everyone who, you, everyone who is anointed, including your brother sitting by you, yes, your brother sitting by you, or the one who your your sheep, your sheep can say, "God bless you." Yeah. Don't say, "Amen, amen, amen." Yeah. Sure. Yeah. That's an anointed child of God right there. That's an anointed child of God right there. The person says that, is, that the anointing is not. Don't clash with the anointing. Always position yourself in a place where the anointing can work for you. Do you understand? Don't say well, I'm senior to him or her, so I mean, he should go away. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes, yeah. So believe and run with the prophetic word. Eh? Yes, the key of receiving and running with the prophetic word. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Then the key of faith. 
The key of what? Faith. faith. All these are different ways of manifesting the blessings of God. The key of faith. Jacob had a dream. <laughs> he had a dream and saw the, 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 the cows, the sheep that were climbing, the, the, the sheep of Laban, being spotted and grizzled and whatever, speckled. When he saw that vision, when he saw that, he moved in obedience to what he saw and did what he saw. Faith is doing the word of God that God has told you to do. That is faith. And without faith, it's impossible to please God, isn't it? Yeah. It's a key of the manif manifestation of the blessings of God. The key of doing the word is, the, is, the, is faith. Is, that is faith. Obedience. Are you in the church? Hmm. Yes. Moving as God has told you to move. God appeared to Isaac and told him, don't go out of the land of Gerah. Stay in the land of Gerah. Don't go to Egypt. Sorry, don't go to Egypt. Stay in the land of Gerah. And plant. When he woke up, what did he do? Did he say, is this God? Is this God? Is this God? Mm, let me see. God has said it, but no, he did what God said. Faith is doing what God, faith is practicing the word. Learning to practice the word. Isn't it? Is that not what faith? Faith is, faith is moving because God says to move. Faith is taking the steps because God says to take the step. And as you take the steps, the blessings start flowing. It starts following. Jacob, even though he had the blessing of Abraham, was not experiencing it in his life until he saw that vision and obeyed that vision. Then he got his own. Then he became rich, practically. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Then the last key. All these keys are key, various keys. All the keys, they, they open the doors. You see, all these are, there are one, two, two, four, six, eight. There are eight doors here with eight keys. And each key opens you to the same auditorium. Opens you to the, That's what I'm trying to let you know. So all these keys opens you to the same auditorium, same place, same place of manifesting the blessing. One by one. They, you can just choose one. I'll choose the key of trusting God. As you are led by the Spirit, of course. Yes. The last key is the key of giving. The key of giving. Okay? Giving. The key of giving. It's a key to bring you into the big auditorium. Giving. Access. And I think you know a lot about that. So, giving. Yes, giving. All these are keys. Yes, all these are keys. In the time of dryness, give. Yeah, it's a master key. Give. It says you make all grace abound to you. It's an amazing thing. We don't know how, but it just, it just works like that. Yes. He told Isaac, so, it was dry. That's it. So, give to the earth. The earth will give back to you. He did, and God blessed him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. The widow of Zarephath uh, was told, give to, me, to give to me first. What should, did she do? She gave to the prophet first. She had the manifestation of the blessings of God in her life. Isn't it? Yes. God told Israel, give me Jericho. It's, the, it's for me. Give it to me. When they gave Jericho to them, to him, every other place they went to, they had victory. The key of giving. As you give, you receive. As you give, you receive. Yes. It is a teaching that Jesus had. Paul said in Acts chapter 20, verse 33. Look at Acts 20, 33. I have converted no man silver or gold or apparel. You yourselves, you yourselves know that these hands have ministered unto my necessity and to them that were with me. I have showed you in all things how that so laboring you ought to support the weak and to remember the words of Jesus. These are the words of Jesus. That it is more what? It is more. So how do you activate the blessing? Give it. It is more blessed to give than to receive. The one who gives is blessed. Rise up and thank God for what you have shared with you. Father, we are grateful, we are thankful. Thank you for blessing us with your word. Thank you for all the words you have released upon us. We are grateful. Say something to the Lord. Thank God for what you have shared with you. Yes, Father, we are grateful. Father, we are thankful. Even in Jesus' name, amen.